Hi Aquarius, this is Petra with IndigoTarot.club and I'm here to do your general psychic tarot reading for December 2016. I recommend that you also watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising videos to see which one resonates with you the most for December. I'm going to shuffle the cards, cut the cards, spread the cards, and I'll be right back with your general psychic tarot reading. Okay, Aquarius, let's get started with your reading. I shuffled, cut, and spread the cards for you. Card position one, your current situation. I have the two of wands. Card position two, the energy crossing you. I have the hierophant. Card position three, past issues. The basis of the situation, I have the two of pentacles. Card position four, your immediate past, what is behind you. I have the knight of swords. Card position five, your crowning thoughts, your thoughts regarding the situation. I have the nine of wands. Card position six, your immediate future, what is about to happen. I have the judgment card. Card position seven, your fears, your emotional concerns regarding the situation. I have the queen of wands. Card position eight, environmental factors, how others see you. I have the nine of swords. Card position nine, your hopes, your desires, what you really wish for. I have the lover's card. And card position ten, the outcome, the answer to your question, Aquarius, I have the world card. The card at the bottom of the deck, which is for what is about to happen the beginning of January 2017, I have the star card. So let's get started, Aquarius. The card representing you is the two of wands. Normally, I see this as progressing to the next level of a project or a relationship. But the, as soon as I uh, picked up the card, I felt that it had to do with a project that you're working on, a creative project. And you have a burst of energy coming in December that's going to allow you to do an even better job than you thought you could on this creative project. The energy crossing you is the Hierophant. And when I see the Hierophant, I think of marriage, a wedding ceremony. So possibly the project that you are working on has to do with a wedding event or ceremony. Also, another feeling that I'm getting from this Hierophant card is that it, the project you are working on could have to do with a stained glass window or some kind of uh, colorful dress, something having to do with that. So I'm really feeling a strong creative energy vibe for you, Aquarius. Um, past issues, the basis of the situation is the Two of Pentacles, and it feels like perhaps, uh, again, with this project, this creative project, you are having a little trouble deciding on the costs involved, how much you want to spend on this project. Maybe you're getting married and you are designing the dress and you have to factor in the cost. And there's some pieces that are used to design the dress that cost more than other quote unquote normal pieces, but you really like these and you think that it's going to add a lot. You think that it's going to add a lot of flash and flair to this design, so you want to spend the extra money, and you are going to have to juggle your finances to do it, but it looks like it is going to be positive for you, and that it's going to maybe even get you some orders, future orders from future brides for a dress like that for you to design for them. So that's pretty interesting. Um, immediate past, what is behind you? I have the Knight of Swords. And when I see the Knight of Swords, I think of a young, energetic male. Uh, it could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. A very uh, stern, analytical person. This one seems like very energetic. Could be a, uh, could be a, some kind of athletic type person even. Anyway, this is in your immediate past. So maybe you were in a relationship with this person or you just met this person, quite possibly. Um, this also could do with communication. Maybe you received some communication, some kind of news, some kind of quick news that you had to make a quick decision on. So that's another possibility with that card. Your crowning thoughts, your thoughts regarding the situation. 
I have the Nine of Wands, and when I see the Nine of Wands, I always think of um, a hard worker, someone who's at the end of their rope. They think, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I feel like quitting. But this card also says that even though it feels like that, don't quit because you are going to see success. So crowning thoughts, you feel like you're at the end of your rope, but um, you still have a lot of energy and experience behind you. And you need to try to be courageous and stay determined to meet your goal or to finish the project, finish a project. What's about to happen in the immediate future is a judgment card. I'm seeing celebration, happiness, uh, renewal, recharging, rebirth, reconciliation. Something very positive and happy is coming for you in December, Aquarius. I can't tell if it has to do with the ceremony. It feels like it's something different. Some really good news coming in for you. Having to do with something else this, this month of December, Aquarius. Card position number seven, your fears. Your emotional concerns regarding the situation. I have the Queen of Wands. This feels like it's you. You're being very kind, warm, and nurturing uh, this month. But you are still being as stern as you can. You're being kind, but you're also being curt. So it's like a double. It's like you're split into two this month. You're having to be stern with one group and then kind and nurturing with another group. That's what it feels like. Environmental factors, card position eight, how others see you. They may see you as having sleepless, sleepless nights. They may see you as, uh, it feels like uh, people see you as they don't know how you do it. They don't know how you're able to do all that you do in a day and in a night even. Uh, it seems like you're untouchable. It seems like nothing negative can harm you. It seems like you're... Uh, Negative things bounce off of you. You're invincible. That's that's the word I'm looking for, invincible. Other people see you as very wise and invincible. So that's good. Your hopes, your desires, what you really wish for, card position nine, is the lover's card. Maybe you really, really want to live happily ever after with whoever you're dating right now. I'm being drawn to the hands, uh, the male's hand on the female's wrist and the female's hand in a weird position above the male's head. And it feels like perhaps whoever you are dating, um, it feels like you two have a hold on each other and you need to loosen up. So your hope is that you don't have to have such a tight grip on each other. Your hope is that you can trust, both trust each other completely so that you don't have to worry about where the person is or what the person's doing. The outcome card, card position 10, the answer to your question is the world card. And I hear success and I see happiness and I see a glowing light of positivity and moving forward into the sunset and being very happy. So something really, really wonderful is going to happen for you this December, quite possibly in the middle of the month and at the end of the month. So that's really awesome. And what really adds to that positivity is that the card I have at the bottom of the deck is the star card, which means that you're going to receive even more blessings. There's going to be even more positive, wonderful things coming your way, even after the 15th of the month and the 30th of the month, these two great, wonderful, positive things. You're going to receive something at the beginning of January that's going to be wonderful as well. So that's great. I'm happy for you, Aquarius. I hope that this reading has helped you, and I hope to see you in January for your January Psychic Tarot reading. Thank you for watching my video. Again, watch your sun, moon, and rising to see which resonates with you the most, Aquarius. And this is Petra from indigotarot.club.